so to begin with, I'm going to start off with a matte primer. I prefer matte because I get quite oily, so it takes out that problem. Uh, this is matte matte primer. And the best thing about this is you don't have to use a lot of it, you just have to put a few dots in places where you get the oiliest. Um, and we smooth it out over your skin. And it goes a little, goes a long way with this stuff. So use it again. Any other time you do, whatever suits your skin the best. Next I'm going to apply my foundation, which is Max Factor Smooth Effect in Buff Beige, which is number 55. Um, I love this foundation. I was using the Max Factor Experience. I'm quite a big fan of Max Factor for foundations. They tend to suit my skin and they don't cause them to break out. Um, the wonderful thing about this foundation is it's the first foundation I've found in my exact colour, so that's what I love about it. And also really good at hiding the redness on my face and also uh, my dark circles because I do get to quite dark circles. So I just put this evenly on my face. The only thing I don't like about this is I always tend to put too much on my hand to begin with because I forget that there's so like a little goes such a long way with this product as well. Um, as you can see, someone just came into my room, which is why I stopped. And I'm going to fast forward to this bit. Self-explanatory. I just wanted to show you the difference on both sides of my face before I do the other side. All I've done is rub the foundation with my fingers because the warmth of the fingers helps help the foundation to smooth and better for the skin. But I just wanted you to notice how much it covered up the redness on my face and the tightness of my eyes, and that just being the foundation alone and not having any concealer added to it. The primer helps because it mattifies the foundation and makes it fly easier to the skin. But I do like this foundation a lot because I can wear it on the day out and it doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation because one, it isn't cakey at all and it looks like a second skin and two, it's exactly my colour so I don't have to worry about looking like I've just gone to the tanning salon and and go stuff really. <laughs> On to under the eyes. This next bit made it very easy to do. Stop. Listen. Orange is the counter colour for blue and grey tones. So if you place an orange base over your dark circles which have grey tones, you neutralise the colour making the eyes appear more white and less grey. Here I'm using just a normal orange base lipstick. It is quite bright. It looks brighter on camera as you can see. Um, but if you put this over your grey tones, you could put this over any other grey areas on your face, um, such as around the mouth people get it, or on the sides of their eyes. So if you put this over your dark circles, and then smooth it in, and place your concealer on top, you will instantly notice the difference in concealing around the eye circles, because sometimes concealing is just not enough. You can also buy uh, salmon coloured concealers or uh, ones with an orange tone to help out. But to be fair, I like this method more because my under eye circles are really dark. Now to begin with concealer, I've got the Lamasca concealer. Um, this skin matches my skin tone, obviously, so it won't be the one that you use and make sure exactly my skin colour. I'm just going to apply this directly under the eyes with my middle finger because that's when you get the least amount of pressure and it is easier on the fragile skin around the eye. So I'm just going to continue to put in this around this eye and then the next and I'll be right back. So that is all done and I look a lot better already. And now I'm just going to apply some powder to my face to set everything. This is Calvin Klein powder and it is amazing. I love it. It brings a little bit more colour back to my face, um, but it is fairly translucent. I got it from a, the original factory shop uh, in town, just testing out how and quite products because I haven't really tried them before, and I actually really like it. You get a lot 
of <laughs> me singing on to music, that you get a lot of product in the jar, a lot more than you do than at Mac or any other brand, which really impressed me. And also it cost me about, I don't know, seven pounds. So I was very, very impressed with it. Next we're going to go on to contouring the face. And for contouring my face, I use Select Sheer Powder by MAC. Um, it's in quite a few tones darker than my skin. Um, but I originally bought this as an all over face powder. And, well, woman in MAC, as she always does, colour match can be wrong. So I use it for contouring now. I'm just applying this directly under my cheekbones in a diagonal line. Quite basically from the corner of my mouth up to the top of my ear is the shape which I go in. I also work up to the temples if I'm feeling particularly contoury that day. <laughs> and I also do it down my nose. Um, I'm going to fast forward this just so you can see it all quite quickly. So now that's done, um, I'm going to move on to blush. I don't always wear blush, but today I'll be particularly blushy. Um, so I'm going to pick a colour which is going to suit the rest of my makeup. That doesn't really suit me, so I'm going to pick more as a kind of terracotta shade. Now I warn you, on the camera this looks extremely pigmented, which it is, but it looks very bright on camera and it was not as bad as it looks, I promise you. <laughs> I noticed as I was filming that it looked very, very harsh. It didn't look like that on my face at all. So what I like about this blush, it's from the Body Shop, and I think it's called Golden Terracotta, and it has gold shimmer in it, which I like, um, because it suits the undertone of my skin, which is yellow. So yeah, I like it, it's all what it does to my skin. As you can see here, it looks like a little clown cheek. Um, but I do blend it out, and actually I don't look like I have clown cheeks by the end of it, I promise you. <laughs> so I am going to buff that out, and I'll be right back. So I'm going to highlight my face, and this is anyway shade 1, which is a pearl um, colour. Um, I find it really good for shading my face, uh, highlighting my face, sorry. I have to uh, apologise because at this moment in time, someone is about to come into my room and spoil the whole thing, so I will have to jump up, I'm afraid, um, and I'll show you in a minute. <laughs> so here it is. Basically, I can show you at all where I highlighted. Basically, where I highlighted was just below my eyes, as you can see. It was basically the tops of my cheekbones and just a little bit on my temples. So I worked in sort of half a semi-circle, a moon, and then a half moon around my eye basically, all on the lower part. Now I'm just filling in my eyebrows, and this is with anyway shade 15, I believe. Um, it's just a matte dark brown, and I fill in with a matte eyeshadow brush. Um, it's just a, a square-ended, uh, uh, I can't remember what it's called, it's light for me, but I use this to find my eyebrows. It's from an old collection which is why the brush hand is silver. Um, Antiquities collection I believe. Um, I got it from that. But um, yep, just filling in my eyebrows. Very boring, um, but I can't leave the house without filling them in. And I like my eyebrows to be quite bold. Not high, sharp and bold, but I do like them to be quite dark. Um, I just like them to stand out really. I love to stand out in brows and mine don't really stand out with anything on them. So here they are. <laughs> in all their glory. <laughs> and here it is, the final product. I hope you all enjoyed this video and a few tips, but this is how I do my face for those of you who actually ask, <laughs> which is most of the people that I know. So there you go, just face without any mascara, any, any eyeshadow or anything. Lovely. <laughs>